Emergency Communications, part one, today on Off-Grid Technology. Stand by. Good morning, everyone. Emergency Communications, uh, what is it? Why do you need it? And how do you go about it? Uh, we're going to have a little discussion today on a project that I've been working on here. Uh, it's a little MCOM box that I've been putting together. Uh, as many of you know, if you watch my videos, I live in Texas. Uh, a couple years ago, and a little bit this past year, um, but a couple years ago, we had a huge uh, outage of power here in the area. This caused a lot of homes. Um, unfortunately, not myself, but I did have a lot of friends and family that lost their power for a week or more. Uh, there were a lot of, uh, you know, illnesses and sicknesses from the cold and so forth. So, you know, one of the things you need when you have an issue or when you have no community or no uh, services, no public services, such as your power, your water, your gas, electric, things like that, um, you have to have a way to communicate. So as many as you know, when power goes out, the cell phone towers go out. When the cell phone towers go out, you no longer have communication. Uh, you're not going to be able to text your friends. You're not going to be able to call your friends and so forth. So one of the things that I've been putting together here is this little MCOM box or emergency communications box. So I'm gonna open this up for you here and you're gonna notice right off the bat, there's a couple of things that stand out. Um, as I was opening it, you'll notice that there was a goal zero solar panel, as well as there's a radio and a power bank. So this is just the beginnings of my setup. Uh, I'm gonna be adding more stuff to this. There is actually two layers of foam in this. Uh, so I could add a second radio or additional accessories. If you've got any ideas uh, or anything that you think would be pertinent to be putting in an MCOM box, uh, one of the other ideas that I'm going to have is on the top, uh, up here in the top portion, I am going to have a list of frequencies and channels and stuff that are used uh, for emergencies, and I'm going to have that kind of uh, waterproofed or taped up in there. Uh, but things like another radio and so forth. So let me know what you know what you think in the comments. Uh, just a quick look at what I do have in here. Um, so again, I do have a Goal Zero Nomad 7. This is a 7-watt solar panel. Um, it does fold up pretty pretty nice and easy. Uh, actually, let me adjust the camera here. Bring it up just a bit for you. And you can see it fits right in the lid, and it will close. Um, it closes fully. It takes place of the upper foam that was up in here. I just lay it in there, and it just sits there. Um, the other thing I have in here is I have the antenna. So this is the stock antenna that came with the radio. I have an Anchor 20,000 milliamp. So it's kind of a slim battery. It's got two outputs and a micro USB input. I chose micro USB because that's what the radio uses, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, and then for the radio, get this out of here because this is falling. For the radio, I chose the Radioddity GS5B. Now there was a couple reasons for choosing this. Uh, one is it's rugged, it's IP67, I believe, rated. Uh, so it's, you know, quite water and dust resistant. Uh, really good, nice feel to it. Uh, it's full UHF and VHF, so it is a full dual band radio. Um, I do have, you know, GMRS and FRS programmed in here as well for emergencies. Um, I do like that it has a fairly decent light at the bottom. Um, so you can put this on and use it in your box or anywhere else that you need. Um, you do get FM. Uh, on this so you can listen to radios with this and just kind of give you something else extra to do uh, but the main reason was this radio is rechargeable via micro usb so you can see the pattern here micro usb micro usb well if i bring the solar panel into view right here we have our micro usb cable which would hook into the solar panels cable. We hook this into the radio and we're charging this no matter where we need to go. So uh, two options, you can either use this to charge the radio directly, you can use this to charge the battery and then the battery to the radio, you can use this to charge your cell phones. Um, there's so many options and having the solar, you're, you're never gonna have to worry about where can I get power from. Yeah, seven watts isn't the greatest, but if you have it out there being, you know, charging your battery while you're using your radio, you're good to go. Um, so just to give a little part one, like I said, sneak peek of the kit, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have kits like these of your own? Um, if you do, I would love to see the videos of them. If you can post the links down below in the chat for me. 
let's come up with some really good kits that people can use and that way we can help our communities be able to stay more active more safe and have communication during those busy times of when things are not available uh, thank you for watching this guys let me know what you think uh, give me a thumbs up please it's always appreciated it helps me get more content like this out and i look forward to hearing from you guys soon 73 this is alan